Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is just a quick fun little unboxing today. I like just having a chill environment where I can do these occasionally and also now that YouTube's algorithm's a bit better, I can actually have nice well-performing small videos so I hope you enjoy. And actually let me know in the comments down below what's your optimal amount of minutes for a video of mine? Like what do you enjoy watching and for how long? This is a parcel sent to me by William Shard. I purchased all of this stuff and big shout out to him. He's a really great seller in the UK and we are currently reigniting from the ground up Halo Mega collecting in the UK and if you are in the UK come stop by say hello DM me on Facebook the Mega Constructs domain and I'll add you into one of our selling chats Ooh, what do we have here William always includes fun little extra stickers which go a long way and they look so fun what I usually do is pass these straight on so usually if I'm selling something I slap these straight on something else and just continue the love you know I love selling in the UK and I do I think I do really amazing prices and I love Love to just undercut and sell and sort of like I'm getting rid of some stock I don't need but also I'm reigniting collecting in the UK and it's just so much fun okay we got a bag of figures here oh another sticker look at that jeez that's that's pretty grotesque I was particularly happy about getting now I don't know what I'm doing collecting McFarlane in 2023 but they're just so good and uh, he had one of these available he had three of them I had to turn down the other two but it's just look at it. it's just so good and it does come with the helmet we're about to find that in this bag I had to have it oh yeah you may notice that's a lot of gold <laughs> let me explain whoa look at all that gold we're seeing gold we've won the lottery boys also look i can clone him now um i don't know if the camera can even pick that up there's a, there's a couple of hairs in here william i'm cloning you watch out that's so bad the hell like the elites completely changed uh size in mcfarlane comes with a concussion rifle they used to be uh pretty dainty and then in reach they were just massively upgraded and oh, that helmet is like that's gnarly that's so that's so badass all right so i just had to have this in my shelf uh you know it's, it's sue me i don't know um Okay, apart from all the gold, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five Mr. Chiefs. He had a load of 20th character packs. He has been selling them off separately, but I can vouch for him that they are really good prices that he's been selling for. But no one wants to buy these. And I love including these as bonuses in parcels when people buy things from me, because I sell a lot of stuff in the UK. Anytime I sell something, I love to just throw in some random stuff, especially when they're like, I know they don't have the 20th character pack. Including a gold figure is just really fun as just a, just a nice bonus. So we've got all these here. <laughs> this is a Hot Wheels figure. That was repurposed into a Mr. Chief. Mr. Chief, a 343 invention, poorly managed in Halo 5, but still quite a funny thing. And yeah, Hot Wheels character with um, this blue goofy assault rifle. I absolutely love these guys. Do I need five? Heck no. What am I gonna do with five? Give them away. I don't need them. Get out of here, Mr. Chiefs. I don't need it you. Seems like we got a bonus Esherim, so much appreciated. Thanks for that bonus. Esherim and Fred. They were so well produced that they just do not sell for much uh, in the secondary market, but I feel like they'll be worth a lot eventually. Like once um, Halo Infinite, you know, it's, it's maybe like five years old and he's he was released in an old set. He might start to be worth something. Got a random riot shield and a jetpack. No idea why, but that's still fun. Oh, a gummy DMR from an old chase figure, also interesting. And then we've got our gold figures. So base plates aside, the greatest figure ever made. There's nothing wrong with it, I swear. Don't you ever say there's anything wrong with this sickly yellow Cortana. <laughs> uh, this one just didn't work out very well. We've got four Cortanas, there we go. Are we gonna end up with four of each? Let's see. One, two, three. Okay, we got three locks. Three Chiefs and we got three Atrexes. Clearly someone bought uh, a load of gold, but no one wants the Cortana because there's four of them and three of everyone else. I honestly, I think these are pretty fun. Like, I, I, I just think they're good, honest fun. I see what they were doing where they wanted to like have the yellows imposing the gold on details so they weren't just solid gold. And it works with the visors. Not at times, but it really works with the face paint for Atriox, I feel, but it does does not work for Cortana. She does not look like she's having a good day. I'm, I'm sorry, Cortana. It's not, it's not working out for you today. Yeah, this was just a fun little haul, guys. I wanted to show you this before it all goes in store. 
storage and then eventually on to other people because I love to just redistribute the stuff. Thanks for the extra stickers, William. And this was the main prize today. Another elite to add to my McFarlane collection. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there. And this elite is signing off. What, what, what? There are those at Oni, myself included, who believe the Covenant dispatch elite advanced teams to hunt down artifacts of value to their religion. Survivor accounts suggests such teams are small, nimble, and almost always zealot class.